So angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so here's a straight line, and I've divided the angle into two adjacent parts. Now, angles on a straight line equals 180 degrees. So if this side here is 160 degrees, then this side here will be 20 degrees, because it adds up to 180. So this side is 140, then this would be 40. So this side is 100, then this would be 80. If this side is 2x and this is x, then we would say 2x plus x equals 180. So 3x equals 180. And so when we divide both sides by 3, x will equal 60, which means this side will be 60 and this side will be 120, adding up to 180. And accordingly, I can change it into any variable of x, and I could also make it into variables where I've got, let's say, x plus 10 and x minus 40. In this case, I would take x plus 10 plus x minus 40 equals 180 degrees. This becomes 2x minus 30 equals 180 degrees. 2x equals 210 degrees. And so I divide by 2 on both sides, giving me x equals to 105 degrees. Does that make sense? Let's see. What's 105 plus 10? It's 125. What's 105 minus 40? It's 65. What's 65 plus 25? And 190. Let's make sure that I did this calculation correct. So the first thing I've got here is x plus 10. That looks good. x minus 40. That looks good. 10 minus 40 is negative 30. That becomes good. That becomes 210 divided by 2 is 105. So x is correct. 105 plus 10 is not 125. That's supposed to be 115 degrees. And that makes more sense now. 115 plus 65 equals 180 degrees. And so x is definitely correct. It's always good to check your answer, right? All right, so let's say I go to another kind of question on this. I'm told that I've got 2x on this side and x plus 40 degrees on this side. So here we go, 2x plus x plus 40 equals 180 degrees. 3x plus 40 equals 180. 3x equals 140. So let's subtract the 40 from the 80 to 180. And divide by 3. Calculator 140 divided by 3. And I get 46.67 degrees. All right, let's go to that simple form again. So remember, these two angles add up to 180. This is 100. This has to be 80. So this is 2x and this is 40 degrees. What about this one? 2x plus 40 equals 180. Subtract 40 from both sides. 2x equals 140. This equals 70 degrees. So x equals 70 degrees. Right, this question now. Let's suppose I've got x and 150 degrees. What will x be from this question? Problem. This one's pretty simple. x is going to be 30 degrees. Because 30 plus 150 is 180. All right, let's say I change it up. Let's suppose this is 2x now, and this is 150 degrees. What will the value of x be now? Try this one. So remember the angles add up to 180. So let's write it down. So we write down 150 plus 2x equals 180. Now I'm going to subtract this on the side. So we can 2x must equal 30. Divide by 2, x equals 15 degrees. Alright, that's using equations. 
if you just use logic, I mean, if you just look at it, you know this whole angle, plus that whole angle equals 180. So if this part is 150, then this part must be 30. And therefore, x must be 15, because 2 times 15 equals 30. So x equals 15. Let's try the next one. x and 2x. What will x be now? So for this one here, yeah, we're going to go 2x plus x equals 180. So there's three parts of x. So 3 times what gets you 180? 60, right? 3 times 60 gets you 180, or divide by 3 both sides. Which means this side will be 120, and this side will be 60 degrees. If I've got 3x minus 40 on this side, and I've got 2x minus 10 on this side, See if you can find the value of x in this case, if possible. All right, so for this question here, we're going to take 3x minus 40 plus 2x minus 10 and make it equal to 180 degrees. 3x plus 2x is 5x. Minus 40 minus 10 is minus 50. Add it over to the right hand side. Five times the number must get me 230. I'm now going to divide it by five. 230 divided by five comes to 46 degrees. So well done, you got this correct. All right, I want you to take a few minutes now and try each of the following questions. All right, let's go through each one of these now. All right, the first one we got x plus 145 equals 180. So 180 minus 145 means x will equal 35 degrees. Then we have x plus 33 equals 180. So we have x will equal 147 degrees. Next one, x plus 3x equals 180. So 4x equals 180. So x equals 180 divided by 4, which is 45 degrees. Next one, x plus 5x equals 180. So 6x equals 180. Divide by 6 on both sides. I think x equals 30 degrees. For this one over here, it's an equation of x plus 40 plus x minus 20 equals 180. Just like the others, but a little bit longer, and I collect like terms. x plus x is 2x. 40 minus 20 is 20. 180 minus 20 gets me 160. When I subtract it, and when I divide by 2 to both sides, I get x equals 2. 80 degrees Celsius. This one follows exactly the same pattern. We got 3x minus 10 plus 2x plus 80 equals 180. And 3x plus 2x will get you 5x. Minus 10 plus 80 is 70. And so 5x will equal 180 plus 70, which is 240 degrees. Okay. 180 plus 70 equals 250 degrees. And I divide it by 5. And x becomes 50 degrees for the plus minus. Okay, so I got 50 degrees. Let's double check this. 3 plus 2, 5, minus 10 plus 80. All right. I think this looks like a 50. So maybe we should do both calculations because it looks like a 50. If this is a 50, then that changes it up. This is going to become uh, plus 40. That'll become 220. 
and then 220 divided by 5, so it's actually 44 degrees. All right. We can always double check each of these. This one here looks correct, 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 and this one. These ones here, if I put 80 plus 40, I'll get 120. 80 minus 20, I'll get 60. Yep, it works. This one, if I take 44, I put it in here, and I go 3 times 44 minus 100, will come to 32. And if I go 2 times 44 plus 50, we'll come to 138. And yeah, what's 138 plus 32? 138 plus 32 doesn't look right, so let's enter 3 multiplied by 44 minus 100 is going to be 32. 2 multiplied by 44 plus 50 is 138. 138 plus 132, 270 degrees, 138 plus 32. That's 170 degrees. So there's definitely some error in this one here. It's going to be 50 degrees. All right, let's go with our original plan, which was having it at 80 degrees. And let's see if that worked out well. We're making that 80 degrees. Right, let's just make an alter cut. And then it comes to a nice 50 degrees. So let's check now. 3 times 50 is 150. 150 minus 100 is 50. 50 degrees. 2 times 50 is 100. Right. Um, 100 plus 80 is going to be 180 degrees. So yeah, this is definitely incorrect. So this, this question here would be completely wrong. Can you see the error? I want you to quickly take the time, take a second out, and see if you can actually find the error. Okay. Take a second and try and see what went wrong. Did you manage to spot the mistake? Yeah, did you see? This part is correct. This part is correct. But I suppose to minus it over here. And what's 180 degrees minus 70? 110 degrees. It always helps to check your answer. So 110 divided by 5 will give me 22 degrees. Now, but let's check it again to make sure. If I make this 22 and if I make this 22, what will it become? 3 times 22 minus 100. All right, let's double check that. See if that'll work. So we got, um, oh, and another thing is, yeah, this looks like 100. It's supposed to be 10 degrees over there. All right, so 10 degrees over there minus 100 changes the whole question completely. All right, here we go. I'm going to fix this question up now. And let's make sure you read the question carefully as well as work it out carefully. All right, using the exact same values that we had at the moment, this is what we get. Right. I'm going to use 3x minus 100 as it is, and I'm also going to use 50. That's what it looks like. There we go. So I got 3x minus 100 plus 2x plus 50 equals 180 degrees. Did I get that written correctly, first, please? Yes. Now, 3x plus 2x, 5x, negative 100 plus 50 is going to be negative 50. And then I add that to the right-hand side. 
plus 50 becomes 250 degrees. So that becomes 5x and I divide by 5 on both sides. And I get x equal to 250 divided by 5, which is going to be 46 degrees.